Okay, so our next speaker is Mary McGrath, and she's going to be talking about our pr prototyping visualizations for Vega and Julia. Hey, everyone. I'm Mary McGrath. I'm a data scientist at the Center for Computation and Visualization as part of Brown University. I'm talking today about visualization, especially with an eye towards the web. This is really just a workflow that I find pretty useful in my day to day, and hopefully some of you guys will find it useful as well. So most of what I'm going to talk about is a case study, but first I'm going to tell you a little bit about why Vega and what Vega is. I know it's not the most popular plotting library in the Julia ecosystem, but I like it. Um, so Vega is an interactive grammar of graphics. There's also the cousin Vega Lite, which is a little bit simpler version. It was developed at the University of Washington. So Vega is a bit lower level. It's very flexible, but with flexibility comes more responsibility. Vega Lite is higher level, less flexibility, but easier to learn. It tends to be a little bit more terse, which is nice. Um, it's largely built on top of D3, the JavaScript library. So it's very flexible, very powerful as a whole. And then in the Julia ecosystem, we have vegalite.jl and datavoyager.jl. One of the other big pros to Vega is it's very portable. There is a Python package, R package, Elm, Scala, JavaScript. You name it, you can pass around a Vega spec to one of your friends and they'll have a language that they can use it with, even if they are not yet a Julia user. So for the case study, what are we here for? What are all these talks about? So in the work I do, a common data flow is that I get data, either someone gives me a data set or I go find one. Um, in this case, I've used http.jl and gumbo.jl, and I'm cleaning, transforming, manipulating, exploring, and visualizing iteratively until I find something that I like, and then I'm publishing findings. The internet is often the home for my findings in one format or another. So after scraping this data, what do we find? We have titles, URLs, speakers, date, times, durations, locations, and a bunch of text. So this is our starting point. This was all done in Julia, so I like to use Julia for my data scraping, data wrangling. It's the language that I prefer, and that makes it very easy. And then I throw it to Data Voyager. So this is basically cheating. So I just throw this line of code in there, and I'm using Jupyter Notebook, Data Voyager, and then I've got a GIF showing that you get your data, you get to drag and drop, you get to explore, it recommends options for you. And at the end of it, it's gonna restart in a second, it goes fast. Um, so I'm selecting data, you can see it's populating things in the bottom, I'm playing around, trying a couple different things, adding more features. And then I copy it, and I move it straight into iJulia, add in a couple of keywords, and then I have a plot. So this is a really great starting point for any visualization, it's a quick start. Then you can iterate using JupyterLab. Once you're back in JupyterLab, you have all of the features of VegaLite, Data Voyager. Because it's a nice UI, you don't get as much flexibility in what you're doing. Uh, the one downside is that this is basically editing JSON text, which is not always the most fun. There are more Julian ways of doing this, um, and there's a, I definitely check, recommend checking them out. I'm not covering them here. Um, and then in terms of data, any table that Quinn just covered, Jacob just covered, will do. So after a few iterations, this is what we started out with. Some circles, it's all blue. The times aren't quite right. And then with a little bit of tweaking, we're able to get something that's a little bit more colorful. The times are set up. This is basically our calendar for the next three days. Um, but that's really it. It doesn't tell you what any of these talks are about. So to find out what these talks are about, let's do a little bit of NLP, some natural language processing. What are all of the common phrases and words that everyone's using in their talks? And then why not a word cloud? This isn't fancy science, this is a conference, let's have fun. So I found, as with many things, you find a good example, you shamelessly steal it, you edit it, and then you get your own word cloud. And in terms of the kind of changes that I'm making, this is just a diff. So on the left-hand side, we have the original that came from the Vegas example website. You change a few lines, some things I'm adding in. It comes with hover right off the bat. You've got nice interactivity, and then We've got a slightly more monochrome word cloud with our words, which is preferable. And then in terms of moving that to the web, it's really quite simple. Um, I tend to work in React just because I know how to, and it's got some nice tooling and environment around it. But in terms of actually moving the Vega to, once you have a very simple React app, which you can do create, using Create React app, in Vega, in Jupyter, once you run the plot, like so, there's a button that you click, you can see the Vega source. You can copy that, move it over to your file where you have your web app, paste it, and then you have an updated app. So it's really pretty simple in terms of what that update flow is like. 
Um, I did add a little bit of web app magic to make the two things talk to each other because more interactivity is always more fun, I'm pretty sure. And then at the end of the day, what we have is this. And that is not on the right window. <laughs> so that's a little small. So what we have is a calendar. You can hover over it, see who's there. You click on it, it takes you to a new talk. You can see the full information. And then it also goes the other way, so you can say who's talking about ordinary differential equations. You can see which talks highlight. So it's an alternate way to look at the schedule and really get a sense of what everyone's talking about. And that's it. Thank you all for your attention. Yep. Thank you. Where was this? <laughs> well, there's two more days. Go ahead, Sam Committee. All right. Thank you all.